Hello everyone, and welcome back to probably the finale of Let's Play This War of Mine, and let's try and finish this off with some dignity today, shall we? Meaning, let's not die on the last day. That would be rather disappointing. Ah yes, I rolled the dice and again, Bob saved our behinds. Problem being, we don't have any more, you know, soldiers. We don't have any more bullets for the same person up, same people out there. So, I'm a little bit worried on what we're going to do as far as defending ourselves goes. Because that's kind of important. Defending ourselves from the rampaging gangs outside. I don't think just sitting in here going, please don't hurt us, is going to keep us safe very long. Problem is, I threw away all the shell casings. So that doesn't help us. All these guns, they don't help us. So, what am I supposed to do now? My only prayer is that the the merchant comes back so I can buy some more bullets, buy some shell casings, anything, something, anything to defend ourselves tonight. Because I know I got the upgraded door, I know I got all this stuff patched in, but you, know, you still don't want to rely on that. And by the way, Pavel, you do that. Uh, yeah, you still don't want to rely on that, you know. At least I don't want to. Vegetable crisis seems to be at an end. Any other new- no, I'm pretty sure I checked this last time. Oh. Well, I guess it does change a little bit. Classical music. Vegetable crisis. Extreme vigilance. Well, we'll be vigilant, we just won't have anything to defend ourselves with. We you know, worth a crap anyway, so I guess that's uh, a depressing thought for the twilight of our days. And I don't mean that as in the old person. I'm in the tw I'm in the twilight of my days. I can do what I want. Damn it! No, not that. I mean, I the the whole is almost over soon. And yes, I realize my old man impression is not not uh, well. I, I think it's on par with like bad grandpa like acting like that bad. And no, I've never watched bad grandpa. I don't exactly recommend anybody do so, but. Uh, yeah, I guess we're... I'm really just waiting to see if... Please, Mr. Merchant, show up, man. We need help. Send help. It's like the Alamo, except... Uh, whoever the hell ran out of bullets. I almost said Custer. No, Custer died on the plains, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very good with history. It was my favorite, you know, thing in school, but... Is it any surprise I don't remember? I don't think it should be. Can I make anything else? Because I don't think that guy's coming today. Do not think he's showing up. Actually, couldn't think of it. Pavel, or I guess Marco, you can go and get some more water because I forgot I had some, uh, I had some filters that I had not used yet. Three, as a matter of fact. Should have been putting that in. If I'd put it in as soon as the day started, I'd had two waters and I could have ended the day with an extra four waters, but it does not appear I will be doing so. No. If we don't have any weapons, I want everybody guarding. Front and center. Because I don't want us to frickin' die. The night was calm. Oh good. I'm not being sarcastic. Oh good. That's very good. And yes, I now realize this may have been a bit of a tactical blunder. Okay, Katya and... Marco, you get to sleep. I forgot everybody was still tired. Well, I don't know why, I just thought everybody could be a zombie and just go, eh, they don't need to sleep. Forget sleeping, that's for wusses. For some reason, I thought it was for wusses. I don't even know how that thought process goes in my head. Boy, they're tired. Better just make them stay up all night. Yes, that's why I'm telling you, go to sleep. Go to sleep. There you go. That was not difficult. And now you can go get the food because you're the, the you're the chef. Feel like I'm missing somebody. Oh no, I guess I'm not. Holy crap! You guys are slow and you're tired and hungry. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. Pavel's gonna pick up that one. You just get to work. You know, fixing the stuff because we gotta eat today. We have to. 
And some people are going to be sleeping today, or tonight. Holy crap, Pavel's... Pavel's out of it too. That's as fast as he goes, he's running. Actually, while you're here, because I don't want you to have to make two trips now. That'd, uh, that'd take too long. There you go. Then when you come downstairs, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you, man. Aren't you looking forward to that? Pick up, pick it up. Only if you pick it up, though. It's like trying to teach a five... Like, trying to get a, a five-year-old to close the door. Close the door! No, don't go get the Oreo. No, close that door. No, it's, it's, it's just not... It is not conductive to, you know, sanity. And of course, now's the time when we need... You son of a bitch. Now's the time when we need Katya up. Show up today, they said. Oh, I'll show up today, yeah. Pavel, you go to sleep, because she vacated her bed. She does not want it. Also, she might be doing this for everybody else. Do you have any bullets? I would really like bullets. You do have bullets. You are a savior to us in, this, in our time of need. Do you also have... You do not have any shell casings. Crap! I was hoping to get some shell casings as well. But I guess we'll have to make do with what we can get. You still don't want snow. Who'd have thought? I don't really need those anymore. Sure, I don't need them anymore. I already built most, you know, the expensive stuff. I don't need any more electrical parts. Uh, I think that's really about all I really need. I mean, I guess I could probably use some more food, but I don't really need it. So, goodbye. And now, Bruno, Katya gets to eat. You know, I just realized Pavel never did eat. Uh, so, you know, there's that. And Bruno can go and get ready to go to sleep down there. And yes, I know Pavel's hungry. You don't have to... What is that? That little toolbar. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted Pavel to do, but... Let's just wake... Let's just waste everybody's time. I mean, everybody's got to eat today. If we don't eat today, we're in some real trouble. At least Katya can run. That's something. Not really, considering it's just the same something I just said, but... Yeah, what is that? Is that just saying he needs food? Is he's dreaming of food? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Because if so, that's uh, that's unique. Don't think I've seen that before. Then again, I don't think I don't think I've ever sent someone to bed very hungry and very tired before. So that's probably what it is. And for God's sake, Katya, first come, first serve, Pavel. You don't get to just steal someone's bed and call it a day. Someone's gonna have to sleep in bed tonight. Marco will eventually get all oh, he has to go through eight hours. Uh. So when you're very tired, you gotta go back through tired. Okay, that's uh good to know that. Now eat it. Eat it. There you go. Didn't think I'd have to tell someone that's starving to eat something. Then again, I guess they did that when I when I'm sick too. People just tell me, you know, you gotta eat. You don't feel like eating, but you gotta do it. More water. There we go. Now you get a choice. You get a chance to... No, you eat that. Am I, am I like misclicking to the left there? Or what's going on? Because I seem to be doing that a lot. Ah, crap. This is going to be hell trying to get everybody's sleep schedule back on track. But I think the best option is just to get... What's the best option? I don't know. Trying to think. He's very tired. So Pavel's sleeping tonight in bed. He's just tired. He's very tired. So it looks like Pavel and Bruno are going to be sleeping in bed with Katya. And Marco not. I don't know. <laughs> That's the plan, I guess. Sleep in bed. Sleep in bed. Uh, you're not scavenging. Ixnay on the... Cavenging S? What? I never was good with Pig Latin, okay? I, I don't claim to be. I know the basics, I just don't know the whole rules. 
Oh, great. Thankfully, we're all armed. None of us was wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. Pavel's feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye out. What? What? Were, were they sick? Were they injured? What the hell? Feeling better from what? Hungry? Tired? What? Oh. So it is about being tired. Okay, you get to go to sleep, and you get to go to sleep. You guys are troopers. Okay. And now... I guess Birdo gets his shot at trying to play the guitar, which I doubt he's going to be very good at, but... Uh, I was right. It's not that good, but... Should be good enough for our purposes. Did I say porpoises or purposes? I meant purposes. That should be that should be fine for our porpoises. Like I'm a marine biologist now that has porpoise porpo is that what's the plural of porpoise for the record? It's not porpie. What the I don't know what it is. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, but I just things like that get to me if I don't know the answer. I'm a little OCD in that. Well, that and I have to chew food a certain number of times on each side. I'm pretty sure that's OCD, but, you know, it's... We all have our little problems to deal with, you know? Pretty sure I should be ending the day right now because there's nothing really else to do, so... And pray we don't all die from an axe murderer in our sleep. That is the plan at the moment. But I guess we should have Bruno check the radio because that seems to be his job. Every time someone checks the radio, usually it's Bruno. No, I doubt anything's changed from yesterday, but I like checking every day. Let's see, we're led to believe that international peacekeepers are going to put an end to the civil war in Graznavia in the upcoming days. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Considering this is not a letter in any language that I know, but it looks closest to a G. I mean, seriously, what is that? Is that supposed to be like a capital G, it looks like? Except they just kind of winged this little thing right here? Alright, I'll stop. Stop nitpicking, let's see. We have confirmation that the peacekeeping forces are indeed en route to Pagor, and we should expect ceasefire any day now. Sweet. Alright. Keep our chins up. We will live through this exchange. We, we're gonna live. We're gonna live, man. Trust me. I'm a professional strategist. Curb on crime. We made a stand. Whatever in the hell that means. I'm guessing that means we live through the crime wave. Damn. The game's still not over yet. Alright. Back to back to cooking, Bruno. Somebody's gotta cook. We're all starving. We have way more than enough food. We don't even have to cook. Like, I don't think any of us have ever actually eaten a canned food yet to this point in the game, have I? Have we? I don't think we have. That's like a point of pride. We don't eat that crap. Mm-mm. We all eat healthy food here. And by healthy food, I mean... Carrots and... Tomatoes and meat. That, that's what we eat. Which I'm pretty sure means we don't get enough nutrition. Which means we're probably, you know, malnutrition, but... No, 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 you know what? I think that has plenty of nutrients, all the vegetables and all that. We should be fine. Where's Katya? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, she's gonna miss lunch here if she's not hurt if she doesn't hurry up. Line up. No. Line up. There you go. It's like trying to get to kindergartners to stand in line. Where are you you can't just cut in line, Marco. You can't just cut in line. Not cool. There we go. Have a little civilized. Act a little civilized for your age, man. No. I was going to say, you don't get to eat again. Not again. It's like an ordeal. Damn it, did I not tell you to go to sleep, Bruno? Or did you just ignore that and then just do whatever you want? Because it seemed like the latter. Yeah, that's right. You go to sleep when I tell you to. I don't care if you're not tired. You do that. Alright. And what do you know? Perfect timing. Some jackass is at the door. I say that because I don't care what he has to say. What do you want? You know the war's over pretty much, right? 
Good day to you. I live down the street and I notice you're living in this abandoned building. I have some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last night. Hmm. Um. Hell no. We want nothing to do with this. I'm going to leave before we point the gun out the thing and can't shoot you. That seems like something you should do, right? Threaten someone? Even if you don't have any bullets? Just for the sake of doing it? No, that's probably not a good thing to do. But that is a viable you know, viable strategy. Just point the empty gun out the thing and threaten the man. Make him think you got bullets in it. It seemed a little sketchy to me, so that's why I didn't... Excuse me, I didn't try and do that. Oh yeah, an aid drop suspi just happened to drop in the middle of no man's land where nobody would question, you know, someone just dropping dead. Something just don't sit right with me in that equation. Man could have been planning on shooting us, stabbing us in the back, any number of things. Okay, seriously, why can't you guys just like wake up anytime soon? That's what we're waiting for. Waiting for you guys to wake up so everybody else can go to sleep. Here, I'll play you a good, you know, alarm for you. Okay, Marco, you are just. I think he's learning. <laughs> I don't want to say he's terrible because I'm not very good at playing instruments either. I've always wanted to play a violin though, but never did learn. Just because violins seem like that classy thing, don't they? They, to me, they seem like that classy instrument. I want to learn how to play that. Alright. Anything else we need to make sure before we go today? Nope. The war is over. We made it. Sweet. You've survived. That's awesome. Yeah. So, epilogue? What's, what's the time for now? Credits? Looks like credits. Marco helped a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home to a sick child. So it's like a recap, right? Neighbors in need. Our family neighbors came to ask us for help in reinforcing their shelter. We were happy to help them. Difficult choice. We robbed a defenseless elderly couple. Ah oh, yes, remember back in the days when we were desperate for food? Those were the days. Aid request. We gave away some goods to help the hospital. And... I'm pretty sure that means we traded, because <laughs> I did. I never did actually give anything. Pavel killed another civilian. Yeah, Pavel's gonna have some PTSD at the end of this. I'd say. A sniper's victim. Our neighbor's brother got wounded by a sniper's bullets. Pavel helped carry him to safety. I forgot about that. Let's see. Katya took other people's supplies. Did she? I don't remember her doing that, but apparently she did. And some kind of hospital thing here? Our neighbor's children asked us for medication. Right, I remember that. That wasn't that long ago. I guess it was day 29. The children we helped earlier came to ask us for some food we shared with them. Ah, yes. And well, oh, this is the thing we just left people to die, right? We didn't help pull them out. No, we, uh, we're lazy people. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in Pogorin. Those who managed to survive the war in Groznavia would never forget it. Katya used her contacts to find her parents in a refugee camp abroad. Let's see. I'm just going to skim through these so you don't have to read all that. Let's see. After numerous difficulties, he managed to find his wife and son who had sought refuge in France. He went there to live with them. They never came back to Pogorin. Let's see. Despite the hardships, she managed to survive and was happy to see Bruno alive and well. They remain friends to this day. Marco found his family, who managed to avoid the worst atrocities hidden away by a friendly country family. They came back to Begorin along with other people. Life went on. She published her war diary, which became a bestseller and drew widespread attention to the fate of civilians. Holy crap, this is like a really nice epilogue. Like, everybody did something good. Either they, nobody went to, no one went crazy and died, or no one went crazy and left and went missing. It's actually a really good epilogue. All in all, this War Mine, a really enjoyable game. It's difficult in the beginning, but if you set yourself up for, you know, attrition, it's a very easy game. But that's going to be it for... 
this series, folks, the Warbine is officially done. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this in some way, shape, or form, and maybe I even taught you a thing or two about strategy in this Warbine. So, hopefully I shall see you guys next time. As always, if you'd like to help support the channel and help it grow, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos. And hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone. Until next time.